We've got a few scattered showers north of the city of Detroit, mainly for the Thumb and along the I-69 corridor, but a cluster of showers and thunderstorms to our north and west that is going to move closer to Detroit and southeast Michigan by tomorrow morning, so it could disrupt tomorrow morning's commute. They won't disrupt this evening's plans, though. It's rather warm out there with partly sunny skies, 82 degrees over at Metro Airport, a wind out of the west at around 13 miles per hour, and dew points are in the 50s right now. So nice and comfortable out there also. Here's a recap of last night. First start off with a severe thunderstorm warning. There's the tornado warning that was up for portions of northwestern Oakland County, southern uh, Genesee County. Then those storms moved on, leaving in its wake some of that tornado damage that occurred. Out there right now, we're still looking at calmer conditions. Here's a zoomed in map. Once again, the tornado itself first came down along the shoreline of Lake Fenton right here. Traveled about seven and a half miles to the east northeast, an EF zero tornado with winds of 65 miles per hour, then lifting up and decaying as it got closer to I 75, right near Grange Hall Road. But even with winds of 65 miles per hour, Tim Pamplin showed you that storm damage, that tornado damage live at the top of the show, ripping up roofs and doing some damage to many communities along this path. And it occurred between 1133 to 1142 last night. So it was on the ground for at least nine minutes. We've got temperatures right now mostly in the 70s and low 80s. Some rain cooled air here farther to our north where we have those showers in the thumb, temps in the low 70s, but low 80s out toward Gross Eel, also in Dundee, where it's now 81 degrees. And we're in for calmer conditions tonight. Those scattered showers to our north remain there for the next couple of hours and it gets drier overnight. But right on the heels of those showers is the chance of showers and thunderstorms again that move in from the west and move across the area tomorrow morning. That's round one. Then a second one for early afternoon for tomorrow. So a couple of waves of rain move through. Be prepared to use your umbrellas whether it's in the morning or around lunchtime and shortly afterward for your Wednesday. 63 degrees overnight, increasing clouds near uh, daybreak with some of that rain arriving. So factor on a little extra time getting back to work or taking the kids to summer camp in the morning. And be prepared for a shower and thunderstorm around noontime or so. If you're playing golf during the day, kids are outside at summer camp. If you hear any thunder, see any lightning, get indoors right away. Afterward, for the evening commute tomorrow, drier, warmer, highs in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. Now, sunnier skies come back on Thursday and Friday. Much more stable air, highs between 80 and 83. Warmer this weekend. Looks like Saturday is going to be the drier day out of the two. Sunday has a better chance of rain, but both days with temperatures nicely in the middle 80s.